Hi, my name is Lewis, and I'm here to talk to you about the time machine a little bit and how, uh, how I came about this. Um, so I'll tell you what happened to me. You know, before I turned 50, as I was getting into my uh, late 40s, I noticed things were, were changing. You know, I was, I was still trying to work out in the gym, but my strength wasn't going up. And as a matter of fact, over the years, my strength was declining, which was kind of strange. I mean, I've never been somebody who gained strength very easily anyway, but, uh, but it's kind of a shock to find out that, man, I'm working out and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do and I think I'm eating everything the way I'm supposed to eat. I'm getting plenty of protein and carbohydrates and, and my strength is not going up. As a matter of fact, it's slipping over the years, you know. And then I developed something that I'd never felt before. I was developing knee pain. And I finally had to stop working out with my legs completely because uh, it just hurt too much, you know. And uh, it was affecting uh, my tennis, you know. I, I uh, fell in love with this sport a long time ago when I was 16, you know, and I've been doing this basically all my life. I did take a, a long break from it, but I, I sort of got back into it. But I thought I was going to have to give this up because my knees were hurting so bad that, uh, you know, after maybe an hour or two of playing, I would literally just limp into the house and I couldn't hardly even... I couldn't hardly even walk into the house. I mean, I'd have to come up the steps in the house and it was difficult, it hurt. And it just never felt so good to just fall into bed and realize that the physical part of that was all over and I could just sleep it off. And, uh, you know, and I would pay the price for the next couple of days, especially if I had to serve, you know, going overhead and, uh, you know, my shoulders would hurt. So obviously, uh, there was a problem. You know, my joints were, were just uh, really hurting me. Um, and as a matter of fact, I wasn't sure what to do about it. You know, I went to Kaiser Hospital where I had uh, a group health plan through the business and uh, they told me I was wearing out my knees. They said that uh, the option for me would be a knee replacement surgery. And that didn't sound too good. <laughs> but I thought, well, eventually I'm going to have to give up playing tennis because I just don't know if I could take this kind of abuse anymore. Um, so, I came up with this idea. You know, I got one of these uh, wretched things and I figured out how to play it and uh, and I had to do I'd actually come up with this idea to make a one and seven eighths inch nut width here because my fingers were too big to play this thing but but I, I went to this because I, th I thought that I was going to be giving up tennis you know uh, but anyway you know, I've always studied health science and I really thought there's got to be some sort of an answer you know besides uh, hormone replacement therapy because of you know, the side effects of injecting uh, growth hormone and testosterone into your body. Um, there's cancer issues, there's acromegaly issues, uh, there's just, there's some undesirable side effects for that. So I thought, uh, there's got to be something else. So I started studying all the clinical trials across the world. You know, they, they're, they're being done in Switzerland, Italy, the United States, the UK, uh, everywhere. And I found out that there there are some food extracts that can raise your hormones. I mean, one of them that I found out about was from an Italian study where uh, this clinical trial involved something like 18 men. Uh, not a big trial, but it was an important one because uh, what, what the scientists found out is deaspartic acid can raise testosterone in, your, in a man's body 42% within about two weeks. Um, boron can raise testosterone 28%. You know, CDP choline, which is a, a variant of uh, choline. Choline is a B vitamin, you know, but CDP choline is a variant found in nature. There's probably two or three variants, I think, but one of them is CDP choline. That takes uh, growth hormone up 400%. Um, so, and these food extracts use the natural pathways in the body. So, uh, for lack of a better solution, I tried it. You know, I started testing all of these things and I mean I tested dozens and dozens of different kinds of things uh, that were being promoted as hormone boosters and, and most of them actually didn't work they didn't do much of anything to me I couldn't tell a difference you know but I could tell the difference with deaspartic acid and CDP choline um, and a few others that I put together but anyway over trial and error and, uh, and, and taking a lot of time to take this stuff and to go to the gym and test myself to see if I'm actually getting stronger um, I came up with seven ingredients that work and uh, so I started taking that and that turned things around. It wasn't fast uh, by any means. I mean, 
I took once I got the formula down. I think I took it for three months before I finally thought, "Hey, I think something, something's happening," because my strength is starting to increase in the gym, and uh, I noticed that I just it didn't dawn on me that my knees weren't hurting as much because what happens is you just don't think about them as much because they don't hurt. They're not reminding you that they're there. All of a sudden, they're out of sight, out of mind. You just don't feel them as much. But after three months, I realized, hey, I don't think about my knees that much. I'm actually uh, going up and down stairs a little easier. Um, and my tennis doesn't seem to be bothering me as much. So, so I thought, well, maybe I'm on the right track. You know? So I stuck with it. And after six months, I knew something was different. I knew it because I was playing, you know, a couple, two or three hours of tennis uh, in, a, in a clinic down in Murrieta, California with a couple of uh, instructors who run us all over the place. I mean, they really torture us, but, uh, but I was coming home and I actually didn't feel too bad. After six months, I thought, man, you know, my knees are getting better, you know? I mean, I, I don't feel them nearly as much. And um, so, you know, we decided to do the test, you know, myself and uh, a friend of mine, Jay, who, who works here, uh, we went down to the gym, and uh, I had been working out with my legs a little bit uh, by then because I noticed my legs weren't hurting as much, so I was anxious to see if I could actually work out with them a little bit. And it was working out. I mean, they weren't hurting as much, and it uh, didn't seem like uh, anything was going wrong there. So that was a milestone because at my age, as I was getting into my 50s, and I was turning 51, uh, and, I, and I knew that I was going downhill uh, for the first time in, in my life, um, all of a sudden, I was going back uphill. Uh, not a steep incline, but, but I was moving in the right direction, you know. So after about six months of taking this stuff, I went to the gym and I lunged 405 pounds. Uh, we videotaped it, and, uh, you know, just to show that, that it was happening. And I stuck with the formula that I now call the time machine. And, um, you know, we went back about a year later, and we tried the test again. And I lunged about 485 pounds. So at this point, I can tell you that I'm on the right track. I mean, uh, the formula that I came up with, the time machine, really, really turned things around for me. I mean, it basically gave me my life back. At this point, now, I can go play tennis, and I can play for three hours, and I'm, I'm at a 4.5 level uh, for tennis. And I can come home, and I don't feel much of anything. I walk into the house like a normal person, I eat, I'll watch, uh, you know, I'll study for a while or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll watch some YouTube videos or something and I go to bed, you know. And um, there isn't any more pain. I mean, even if I get out there and I serve, it doesn't bother me the next day. Whereas before, I would be paying the price for serving for about three days. It would take me three days at least to get over it, you know. And I knew that if I was serving, I wasn't going to the gym for at least three days because, you know, it was just, it was just too much. Um, you know, it was just too painful. So, so anyway, I think I did it. You know, I think I think I came up with uh, something here, seven different ingredients that absolutely worked. Um, got my life back. I feel like uh, I can do anything. I mean, prior to my going on this stuff, it was difficult for me to just get out of my truck. I have a, a truck out there, and just stepping out of the truck and onto the ground, if I stepped down too hard, it it would hurt. And if I were to jump down, which was out of the question, um, it would send shock waves of pain up through my legs, especially my knees, you know, and my hips. My hips were starting to bother me too. Um, now I can actually get on the bed of that truck and jump down and land on the ground, and it doesn't bother me at all. Um, you know, a few years ago, it, it was out of the question to run at a full gallop down the street, you know, for any reason. I mean, running is not something I'm going to do because it, it, it just hurts too much. You know, it's not, I'm not going to do it. I can walk. Um, but uh, now, I can actually have a foot race with one of my guys that I play tennis with, and it doesn't bother me. So it's absolutely wonderful. So I realized something about, about how the body works. The hormones, testosterone and growth hormone, along with IGF-1, these hormones are messengers. They instruct the cells as to what they're supposed to do. You know, you have cells that create uh, cartilage, that create tendon tissue, that uh, hypertroph the muscles and make them stronger. And these cells are not going to do that unless they're told. The hormones tell them what to do. 
and it's a dose-dependent message. I mean, basically, if your hormones are lower, that message isn't getting through quite as much. You know, as the hormones rise up, the message gets through very strong, and the cells do what they're supposed to do. The body maintains itself. When you're young, um, and you have ample amounts of testosterone and growth hormone, and and IGF-1 from the liver, uh, you don't you don't worry about anything. I mean, you feel maybe delusionally uh, invincible. You know, you can go out there and snow ski and water ski and climb mountains and do all sorts of physical things and run through the hills shooting paintballs at each other and it just doesn't bother you, you know. Um, but as you get older, what happens is those hormones decline, the body doesn't do the maintenance at the same rate of speed, and so you can't go out and keep up with younger people. Um, you can't abuse yourself. You can't grab things out of the back of your truck and yank on them and pick them up, you know, because you're going to injure yourself. You're going to pull a tendon in under your biceps or something, or you're going to give yourself tennis elbow by lifting something this way, you know. You're going to, you're going to give yourself problems uh, because the maintenance is not going to be done at the same rate of speed when the hormones drop. So the simple solution is to raise the hormones back up, and there's only two methods that we know about that can do that, and that's hormone replacement therapy, which has the associated side effects, or you can take some food extracts that will raise your hormones up and do it that way, which uh, in my opinion is the safest way to go. I've been taking the time machine now, uh, well, since, uh, since I was about 50, 51, and at the time of this video that I'm making right now, I'm, I'm, I'm 53, so I've been taking it a few years, a uh, year and a half or so, and I have ne had no side effects. I have noticed nothing negative about it at all. I take a scoop in the morning and a scoop at night. And, and, and I do it religiously because I know if I stop, I don't want to go back to how, you know, the, the situation I was in before. So I'm just going to keep right on going. But this has just been a miracle for me, and um, I think it's going to help a lot of people. So naturally, it's something we want to, want to get out there for everybody.